Stephanie Belflet joins us now to talk about prostate cancer screening. And if you have questions, you can send them to the doctors at WLBT.com. Thank you, Maggie. Joining us now is Dr. Patrick Daly, a urologist with Baptist Medical Center. And we're a bunch of girls. and. We know nothing about the prostate, so let's start with <laughs> Prostate 101. Exactly what is its function? Uh, prostate gland is a gland that men have that um, is, is mostly uh, involved in, in reproduction. Um, don't have to have a prostate, but you have to have a prostate to have a baby. So. Okay. Now, we know that prostate cancer is very common and there are things, key things that you look for. Tell us what those are and when a man should be concerned. Well, the main thing is risk factors and uh, someone with a family history of prostate cancer, uh, African American descent have a much higher uh, incidence of prostate cancer. So. Uh, the American Urologic Association in 2010 has changed the guidelines for uh, screening men. Uh, the, the recommendation is now that every man should have a PSA and a rectal exam starting at age 40, up to 75, and then once you're 75, it's optional. Didn't it used to be 50 That's that correct. they start? And so now it's 10 years wow. earlier. That's correct. Wow. We realized it's a very good test, but the problem was we were screening men too late, and then we were screening them too long afterwards. So someone had told me the other day that every man over 50 usually has a problem with the, with the prostate. Is that true? Well, it's certainly very common. I wouldn't say every man does, but uh, once you start to be about 50 years old, prostate starts to enlarge, so a lot of men will experience uh, difficulty urinating, eating, getting up a lot at night to go to the bathroom, and uh, those certainly can be signs of prostate cancer, but more commonly benign prostate disease. What are, what are the signs of cancer? Well, the reason screening is so important for prostate cancer is uh, that by the time you develop symptoms with prostate cancer, it's already spread outside of your prostate. So uh, that's why we encourage men to have their uh, screening every year, PSA and a rectal exam. Now, it's also very common. I've heard, I know a number of people, uh, not necessarily my family, but friends who have had prostate cancer, been very successful. Doctors have been in treating it. So, again, it has to go a long time before it's fatal. Is that It's a true? maintenance disease, or it can be, sort it, of. It is a slow-growing type of cancer, even the more aggressive ones, uh, and it is a disease that takes many years uh, if, if it's not diagnosed. But... Uh, we, we still like to get them as, as, as early as possible because that gives us our best chance of curing someone. What are some of the other signs and symptoms that a man would need to look for besides the frequent urination, things that should set off some bells and whistles for him? Well, uh, low back pain uh, and, and is, is, can be a sign that of advanced disease, um, but most of the symptoms the men are going to have are going to be urinary symptoms. I think I have prostate cancer. <laughs> Oh my. Okay. Now, when should, where should a man go? Stephanie is so bad. Where should a man go to be screened? Should you go to your regular doctor? Should they call up a urologist like you, try to get an appointment to make sure, especially if they're 40 and older? And I hate to say this, not a lot of people want to come see you about this because they don't want to do that rectal exam. I understand. I understand. Uh, the, any, any doctor, family practice doctor, uh, internist, and certainly urologist is uh, capable of doing an exam and screening. Uh, prostate Cancer Awareness Month uh, begins September 1st, so uh, we certainly want to uh, make people aware. There are uh, several free screenings in town. The Baptist and Mississippi Urology Clinic are doing free screenings on September 14th and uh, 16th. Uh, so th those are uh, several good options for men. And where are they going to have them? The one will be at our office uh, in the Watkins Building, and one will be at the Mississippi, uh, or excuse me, at Baptist, uh, at the Hederman Cancer Center. Okay, and you're at Mississippi Urology Clinic. If people, do they need to call ahead of time to show the, up? They do. They're uh, they're taking uh, uh, reservations up until August 31st. Six zero one. 9486262 is the number to call to get a uh, reservation. All right, Dr. Patrick Daly, thank you so much. Sure, thank you. And for more health news, you can log on to our website, wlbt.com, and click on Medical Matters.